Welcome back, guys. Uh, bear with me for this multi compartment model. I know it is a time taking, but it's uh, worth going through this. Okay, the formula for volume of distribution at steady state is Vc plus Vt. Okay, so that is what we are mainly discussing. So we have to find out the loading dose if concentration at steady state is 20 microgram per ml. So the equation for the loading dose is volume of distribution at steady state times plasma concentration at steady state. So if you know VDSS, and obviously we have the information of our concentration at steady state that they have provided, it is 20 microgram per ml, right? So now we have to find out VC and VT. Oh, what is VC, by the way? VC is the volume of distribution of the central compartment. It is a highly perfused compartment, you know, such as heart, blood, tissue, and the lungs, and the kidneys, etc. These are the highly perfused organs, okay? The T, VT, is a volume of distribution of the tissue compartment. So we will call it as a C2, the second compartment, a tissue compartment, or we can call it as a peripheral compartment, whatever you want. And uh, so C1, we are calling it as a central compartment, VC, okay? The elimination of the drug from the central compartment to the tissue compartment, we use a rate constant to determine that. It is K1 to 2, that means from first compartment to the second compartment, it's K1 to 2, okay? If the elimination is from second compartment to the first compartment, then we call it as a K2, 2 to 1, okay? 2 to 1. All right, now, the, the elimination from outside, we call it the elimination rate constant or K1 to 0, which is infinity, so K1 to 0. All right, now, let's get back to these equations. So VC, how do you find out that? Before we find a VC, we have a series of equations that we have to you know, uh, go through. So the first one is K2 to 1 is equal to A times beta plus B times alpha divided by A plus B. We already figured out uh, from our previous you know, video how to uh, determine A, B, and also the beta phase, beta slope, and alpha phase, alpha slope, right? So now we can find out K to 1, right? So now the next thing is we have to find out K1 to 0. So for that, we have alpha times beta, which you already know, and K2 to 1, which you just determined, right? The next step is we have to find out K1 to 2, okay? This K from first compartment to the second compartment, the elimination rate constant. The units are our inverse, okay? That is alpha plus beta minus K2 to 1, which we already determined. Again, the elimination at constant units or, you know, our inverse, K1, 0. We have K2, 1, K1, 2, K1, 0. Okay. Now, the next step is to find out the CP0. Okay. CP0 is A intercept plus B intercept. Uh, you know, if you add these two, you'll get a value of CP0. And again, the units for A and B are... Uh, here microgram per ml and so the units for CP0 will be microgram per ml. Now we have the CP0 now how to call it VC is equal to dose divided by CP0. Okay now this is nothing but hey if you want to find out the concentration of a drug in a particular beaker okay how do you determine that let's say you have 100 ml of uh, water here and you have uh, 100 grams of drug. So what will be the concentration? It's amount over volume, right? In a similar way, concentration is nothing but amount or volume. That is, amount here is dose, and volume here is VC, volume in the central compartment. This is how we got this equation, guys. So. Now we have VC. Next step is to find out VT. It's VC times K1 to 2 divided by K2 to 1. We have the information of K2 to 1. We have the information of K1 to 2 here. We have the information of VC from this particular equation. Can we find out VT? Yes, we can find out the VT. Okay, the next step is to find out VDSS, right? 
okay v d s s one more distribution at steady state that is v c plus v t we just now figured out v t and this is how we get v c now the final step is loading dose right so the loading dose is equal to one more distribution at steady state okay times the concentration at steady state it gives you the value of the loading dose let's look at it. let's take a look at the units guys loading dose dose is as i mentioned earlier it's the units i mean for the amount is what milligrams or grams whatever it is and for the concentration the units are mg or micrograms whatever it is so let's say let's take loading dose as micrograms here okay concentration it's microgram per ml right and the units for volume distribution at steady state for our convenience let's say let's take this ml into liters okay and volume of distribution at steady state let's do it in a liters now liters liters gets cancelled microgram microgram gets cancelled so this is the loading dose at steady state now that we figured out the loading dose what else we have we figured out loading dose we to find out t half of the alpha and beta phases right hey you know the all units uh, t half is equal to 0 0.693 by k this is for a one compartment model right c is equal to c naught e to the power minus kt right you remember so in a similar way for the uh, to find out the t half for the beta phase simply replace this k with either the beta here or with the alpha here to find out the t halves particularly the last thing is to find out the aec right aec hmm I hope you remember uh, this equation. Um, clearance is equal to dose over AUC, right? Okay, you can use this equation to find out the AUC value. But before that, we have to find out the clearance. Hmm. How do you figure out the clearance, guys? Okay. For that, we have a couple of steps. We have to go through it. Okay. And the first thing is we have clearance total right uh, this is clearance total anyway okay so clearance total is equal to k10 times vc you already calculated k10 so you know the vc you can calculate clearance total okay from this can you calculate auc oh yes right because we know the dose here and you know the aus i mean you know the clearance total from this equation so just calculate auc that is auc is equal to dose over clearance okay all right that's it